Welcome back to the southwest of England in a series that has been showcasing some of the best countryside and coastlines, wildlife and plants, culture and heritage, and general adventurous fun that this slice of England has to offer. If you're joining me for the first time, hi, I'm Caroline, and today I'll be hiking Cheddar Gorge and checking out the National Trust's Borough Mum. If during the video you find yourself enjoying it, please consider giving it a like and hitting the subscribe button so that you can join me in my adventures. friends of mine Gordon and Liz and we've come along to Cheddar Gorge here in Somerset. We've managed to find a circular hiking trail that is 2.7 kilometres out and then looping back the other way it's 2.4 kilometres back and naturally with it being a gorge we are fully expecting for this trail to be very very undulating but if the view right here is anything to go by I'm hoping that this hike is going to be rather stunning. I would have been fine, but then I got to there and saw that. That's enough. So coming up these steps, oh it's a little bit exhausting, but one is hoping that by Gaining elevation, it means that we might have quite a nice view looking down into the gorge from the top of the trail. I think Gordon's just dying. <laughs> All of those steps much earlier on in the walk were definitely worth it. It's just spectacular, those cliff drops going down. I do believe that at the deepest parts, it's about 400 feet. It must be feet, not meters in depth, which is kind of cool. But as well as the actual rock face of the gorge, there's also stunning views out over the countryside and the farm's fields. And it's quite flat for several miles too. We're now descending, I think, into the village of Cheddar and this part of it is horrible. Right now I am on steps and that's okay because obviously they're very flat but a bit further up the steps have disappeared and the mud is so slick and so slippery. I think so many people perhaps use these hiking trails that the boots have just made it really really slippery and there are a few times where I almost went but I am eager to get back onto flat ground and get into the village just for a, a little bit more stability on my feet. <laughs> The lookout tower behind me was built in 1936 and we think that it was probably built as a pleasure lookout tower rather than for something of safety such as like a fire lookout uh, simply because there were pleasure gardens that it looked out over that had things like a zip wire, a shooting gallery and a restaurant. These days unfortunately it seems to be locked so it's not possible to go up and get views down onto the gorge.
We parked at Black Rock, which is at the top part of the gorge, and we've walked along, I believe, the north rim of it, having dropped down into the town of Cheddar. It's not really been my cup of tea, incredibly touristy with a lot of cheese shops, naturally, because it is obviously Cheddar Gorge, but also things like cafes, coffee shops, and other touristy shops. So we've kind of quickly blitzed through the town, and then we've come up onto the other side, or at least we're in the process of walking up on the other side. There are some information boards, and it's talking about how the hazel plants that are in here if they're picked in the spring they're super bendy so you can make things out of them such as like wicker baskets and people more commonly using them to train beans say if you're growing them in your garden and one of the fascinating things that I've just learned is that the male and female species grow on the same tree and the only way to pollinate is to get pollen from a different tree Bees find it almost impossible to spread the pollen because it's not sticky and the actual grains repel one another so instead these trees rely on wind to be able to blow the pollen from one tree to the next. This area is supposed to have some other cool wildlife in it as well as some quite interesting rock formations so we're going to keep on wandering. It's definitely gotten a lot more busy. We started it just gone nine o'clock. It's 11 o'clock now and it's really really heaving with people so I'll, I'll see where we're able to get to and what we can see in amongst the crowds. <laughs> According to one of the two local guides who I'm out with today, maybe this slightly more untrustworthy one of the two, has told me the reason why cheddar cheese is called cheddar is because it is made in this region around the town or village of cheddar. Now, history has dictated that probably way back in the prehistoric times, they were even storing cheese in the caves found here at Cheddar Gorge. Today, there are plenty of cows that graze on the farmlands up on the sides of the gorge and the milk is used to make that cheddar cheese. Ready? I'm pretty sure that there's a trail running race going through here at the moment because we've had quite a few trail runners come past us and they've all had numbers attached to them and just as we're descending back to where we parked the car there's a small group of people all applauding so I wonder if we'll get a round of applause when we get to the bottom as well. Cheddar Gorge got very busy very quickly and it didn't help that the rain started pouring down just as we descended back to the car. We didn't get the round of applause but obviously I got a lovely round of applause from Andy. We decided to drive across to Beer but not spelt B-E-E-R like the drink but instead B-E-R-E -E. and that's because there is a place that's called I think locally it's known as like Jimmy's Shack. There's both a cafe and a shop they make their own cider and believe it or not the cider for a pint of it in the cafe was exactly the same price as an americano two pound fifty so andy couldn't resist he did have a pint of it and i had a really lovely brie cranberry and bacon panini which was absolutely delicious and a salad on the side but afterwards we went into the shop and gordon picked up a big i don't even know what to call them but like a plastic container of cider and again just absolutely dirt cheap because I suppose they make it right there on the premises they're not having to do any bottling up they're not having to transport it anywhere and it was really cool because he had all of the kegs along the wall and there were signs up saying like which ones are sweet and which ones were dry and the owner just came along like turned on the tap had the bottle underneath it filled it up and Gordon's ended up buying that and I picked up some apple cider vinegar just really helpful to make things like salad dressings and what have you but a really cute local establishment and just really refreshing somewhere nice to go that wasn't a, a chain or not I suppose the busy tourist pole that a lot of the premises actually based in Cheddar looked to be. We've now driven just a little bit further along the road from Beer to I think it's called Borough Mumps. It's a really really small National Trust site and I can see the hill in front of me so I'm gonna tackle this hill and I'll show you guys what's at the top of it in just a few minutes. <laughs> the 
the reason why the church is looking the way in which it is isn't because it got into ruin but instead this is just as far as what they got with the building process they ran out of funds and they realised that it was going to be much cheaper and much easier just to abandon this place because of the effort that it would take to bring all of the materials up the hill and instead decided to build a chapel at the bottom of the hill. Local friends who were with seem to think that the chapel down there isn't perhaps as great as what this could have been and the other thing that's perhaps worth mentioning is down there it's the Somerset levels so it floods a lot. This church wouldn't have got flooded. Today we've met up with a couple of really good friends of ours, Gordon and Liz, and we've come along. Is that being a it is, isn't it? <laughs> um. Right, can we try that one again? <laughs> can we have Andy? Hiding in their fern and then just appearing like a newborn baby. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Psyching myself up, I'm not ready. Don't say whenever you're ready and then force me.